Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'll be teaching you on how to replace your old sprinkler irrigation controller to a smart irrigation controller. As you can see in this picture, this is a sample of a traditional irrigation controller that you have. Usually, there is a, a place in the controller which just hooks out or you unscrew it and then after you remove that, you will see a place for a battery and for each irrigation zone to connect to the controller. As you can see in this device, um, as I pulled it out, these are the zones uh, which are connected and in this uh, typical example, there are eight different zones. And you can see different color wires are different zones and these zones are numbered in there from one to eight and there is a common port C and there is also a plug for the uh, wiring in some cases. Also, it's a good idea to take a photo of this before you start uh, replacing it. And now here you can see I have a new Beehive um, irrigation controller. Uh, it's It also has the same eight zones and, and it comes in a box. And in this particular example, the the adapter or the electrical circuit is not uh, installed, pre-installed and in that case you need to put it in the uh, 24 valve uh, volt zone um, but usually it should be well written on the manual. What I also like to do is I like to write uh, like zone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, before I remove those wires in a uh, paper tape and then stick it on to the to the wires now you see how I did this for all eight wires now even though you remove the wire you know which one is zone one which one is zone two and so on now this can go in the respective uh, zones in the new controller now all you have to do is uh, remove the controller old controller from the wall remember before you do this you need to remove the electrical uh, connection and after you do that uh, you can either install the the controller on the wall or you can first put wires in the respective zone and then install it on the wall what I like to do is I would like to install it first on the wall and then put the uh, put the connection or the wiring for each irrigation zone you might need a drill bit for this uh, depending on the type of controller but it should be fairly easy once you do that uh, you can always refer to the manual and then you need to unscrew those of Jones put the wires in and then screw it back so the wires are uh, secured after you put all the respective one two three four five six seven eight zones wire in eight different zones you and then the common wires goes on the common uh, you are all done and then connect them to the electrical outlet and then use the app connected to Wi-Fi and you can test different zones uh, pretty simple, huh? It's, it's all done.